Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Sly Cooper, the Thievius Raccoonus. In the last episode, we had started the game up and completed the two beginning levels of the game. And now we're actually going to get to the first real level of the game. Now, um, this game's an interesting game. On the fact that it doesn't actually have numbered levels, but you need to complete all the levels to play. There are seven levels per world. You only need to complete three to start, but by the end you'll need to have all seven of them completed. There are seven levels, but you can do them in any order you want. You want um... Well, you can only do the first half of them in any order. Complete three of them, and you can do the other half, plus the ones you've already unlocked. And, yeah, basically I just explained the whole game. It's kind of like, uh... I don't know how to describe it. One of them games where you unlock, like, more levels for so much progress, but you don't have to complete them all in order. Um, Mission-based games, usually, but this game's level-based. Um, I don't really see a point behind grabbing all these coins. They don't do anything important. Break some stuff here and there, but you don't really need to grab every coin. You also don't want to break those lasers. This level is basically like they introduce you to um, high laser. Very many lasers. I don't know how you describe it. Very dangerous levels. How I, how I can describe this for you guys. Now, if I haven't showed it yet, I'm going to explain how it happens when you break a laser here. They're yellow right now. They will not do anything to you. Even if they touch you, they will not hurt you. They will not do anything to you. Game still goes. Oh, let me break the one of these here quick for you. The alarm goes off. Now they're red. Now they will burn you if you get hit by them. And that's basically the way I can describe them. Now let's go through and get all the bottles in this. This right here is a vault. These have like two bottles in them. Um, those are very important. You break. You have to get every bottle in the level to get them all. There's not like extra bottles. You can miss a few. Like you need to grab every single one. And um, that can be a difficult task if you don't know where some of them are at. Luckily for you guys, I've memorized this game at least enough. And, uh, I know where they're all at. Also, attacking will grab them. But also, you need to also find the vaults after you got them all. And some levels have hidden vaults rather than hidden bottles. And then, yes, there's always like, one hidden bottle that's really far out of the way. If I can get up here. I'll show you guys this level's hidden bottle, like well hidden bottle, I guess you could say. I want you get up there, Sly. Come on, Sly, Sly, Sly. Sly. Oh, oh, he got stuck. I've been actually uh, playing Lego Lord of the Rings recently, lately, and um, really great game by the way. I really do suggest it to anyone out there who uh likes the Lego games or Lord of the Rings. <laughs> but um not how you do it. Is this really you can't get up there from here? Maybe this one. Let me get up from this one. There we are. You have to walk around. But um the game is really glitchy. Like it's a great game. It's really fun. I'm enjoying it. I'm, al I'm almost done with it, but I'm really enjoying it and stuff. But some points the game is really glitchy. Like I've gotten myself multiple times, notably as Frodo for some weird reason. I've gotten myself stuck in the air, and I'll start flying away. I don't know if it's like a cure to this glitch, but I'm just considering the fact that this is an Xbox 360 game version I'm playing, and that um, THQ or whoever's behind this game had better release an update real soon. Oh, Traveler's Tales is behind this. They had better release an update real soon here. Also, screw. Oh, fine, I'll do it. But yeah, the update. I am legitly waiting for an update because that would be really useful. There we are. Got through all of this shit. Oh god. Oh, like I said. Dang, that's a crude way to die. I'm just gonna admit. I would not appreciate <laughs> dying like that. But like I said, this is a hard level since so heavily guarded. I don't judge anyone if they suck at this level. It took me a long time as a little kid, especially the part with the lily pads, which I just did like it was nothing. But, um, I've gotten used to it over the years, like I've said. Is that everything? Is that really everything? Nope, oh, that's not everything. So once you've gotten all of these, um, all the lasers, all this will be gone because you got all the lasers, but, uh, don't break the key. 
Don't break the key, because that will end the level, and we are not ready to end it. We want to get the vault. Also, there are coins everywhere. It's amazing. I don't know the code here. I've forgotten them by now. Whoever thought this code up knew what they were doing. Dial in 436. Or 436, okay. I'm not sure if there's any codes you can do that'll make something funny happen, but... Also, oh, I was gonna say that there was no, I thought there was no uh, wheel or something. I was like, what the hell? How would you design it like that? But there is. Uh, let's see. I'm not quite sure how locks work, but I got the general idea, and I know there has to be some kind of handle that would, at least in the old style, there would have to be some kind of handle to go through all of the. Uh, Codes and the wheels that have some kind of holes, weird shaped, that can only go in one direction. And, um, as that's the obvious part. Beyond that, I have no clue as to how locks or anything work. But, um, I got the general idea, the basic idea. So, right here's a key, break it, level's over. Got two keys now. Now, uh, we need three keys to move on, but I'm actually gonna get all the keys four of them, I believe, five of them, before I move on, because I really don't care, and, um, also, that level's over already, that was fast, this game's gonna be even shorter than, uh, well, I was gonna do, I was planning on doing Ratchet and Clank, and I'd be able to get one episode for every level, but, um, better close those furnace doors, jump and press the square button, that'll slam them shut. I don't know, Ratchet and Clank, I just didn't want to do it. I was just like, ah, screw it, I'm going to get stuck at some point, I know I am. I've done it before, I don't, I, I don't like doing Ratchet and Clank LPs, and you guys really should understand that. I, I love the game, it's a great game and all, but LPing those games is just so difficult. Because there's so much that takes, there's so much stuff in that game, you need to like... Okay, shut up, Bentley, shut up, Bentley, no one cares what you have to say. Unlike Sly Cooper, there's so much stuff in Ratchet and Clank that you won't get if you uh like you can't just rush through the game you need to grab grab all the money and shit to get everything and uh i really don't like going through games you know, off screen like going through levels over again just to get some extra money i don't like doing that in lps now going through levels i missed uh, levels over again because i missed like a time limit or some kind of ranking i don't mind that that's that, that's fine by me like, Kirby's Epic Yarn, I was fine doing those time limits over again. But, like, Ratchet and Clank, I would do levels over again off screen to make some extra bolts. And it just got to be a pain in the ass. And I was just like, screw this LP, I'm not doing this. Oh, God. It's also, there's an extra life right here if you want that. So, I suggest that. That's it. Come on. Get that bottle. Get that bottle. Don't worry, darling. If you don't get the bottle, you're gonna fail. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to do that voice for too long because it hurts my throat. And uh, I did that one video with. Uh, for some reason, like I didn't even know what I was gonna do that video. I was actually planning on putting like one of those like, like Roseanne or some shit over that video. And I don't know. Somehow, the, the mayor of Ponyville found her way into there. I was like, what? <laughs> the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I don't know. Some of the videos I do, I have so I have. There are a lot of videos I have done that I have had plans for the videos, and I've gotten into some kind of like weird video from there. Like I was doing um, the stop and swap video, and I, which I haven't finished yet as of now. And I was doing the stop and swap video, and I actually planned for that to be a. Uh, get this, I actually planned for being the only person in history to do a. Um, history of let's playing documentary and um i don't know I, I just feel like it wouldn't work 
like as of now i feel like when i become a partner it'd be both easier and i can be able to do more cool stuff with it because when i'm a partner you know everyone will actually pay attention to me but um one interesting thing about it is uh i actually had a script done for it even i actually had some information about the history of let's plays like for example they started out actually on uh of all websites something awful which is like the seconds to being 4chan i swear and um, on something awful, they actually did it as like video, like logs of their gameplay playing the game. But I don't know how they got into the whole point of video making. I guess that some guys decided with YouTube and stuff created it was easier. And the first Let's Play was created in 2006 on something awful as a picture Let's Play. And they're actually just called they're called um, slideshow Let's Plays and video Let's Plays. This is a video Let's Play, but we don't refer to it as that because they don't do slideshow Let's Plays anymore. Very interesting. Fun fact is I actually had a plan as like a little kid to do something like that on a website, but obviously I was a little kid and, you know, I would never truly get around to making a website at that time. But, um, kind of like when I was a little kid, I kind of wanted to make walkthroughs for things, and that's how the point I got into the LPing thing, is because I've always wanted to do walkthroughs, like typed walkthroughs, and, uh, this is, screw that, this is easier. And this is also more fun, because I actually get to play the game. At least, I don't, I, at least I have to play the game this way. And that's also why I don't do certain games. If there's ever a game that I actually want to do, but I will never truly get around to playing it on Let's Playing, I will certainly go get a, my GameFAQ account running again and do a walkthrough for it. Because I know how to do it now. I know how to make your formatting and stuff right. And also, that, which I believe... I have fun with that. That makes this stop. That is all 30 of them. Oh, this thing's actually moving. Wow. Good job, um, Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch! Uh, how do I describe Sucker Punch? They've been a really lazy company lately. Um, excluding, like, the games that he's been featured in, there has not been a Sly Cooper game or an Infamous game in forever. And those are two really good series that, that I love. This game is classic, and so is Infamous 2. <laughs> I haven't played Infamous 1 yet. I need to get that one. But I, I can't find it. I, I, I literally have looked for it. I cannot find Infamous 1. But Infamous 2 is a really cool game. So there we go, now I can see what items are breakable with... Let me just demonstrate this. Um, you'll s Let me see here. Which button is the Bernanke comp in this game? There's a little thing in the bottom that shows you where breakable objects would be. And those little red circles point out the locations of them. And I'm just going to go on like, oh, the whole nine yards here and say that... Um, green circles will also be there to represent um, bottles that you can find. Also, you can do this. I don't know why I didn't do this before. Oh wasn't when it worked. It would have taken just as long anyways, but I guess I was faster, so. Three levels. We can do three levels in one episode. That is amazing. This is this is a quick game. If I could do three levels per episode. I promise you guys this will be a very short LP. And um definitely that under 13 episodes with the way I'm playing right now. This will be under 13 episodes. I'm trying to get this under 13 episodes. Also, do I have the roll? Yeah, I do have the roll. Sweet. Um, not a very important Schlock, ability, but... See that machine wheel? If my knowledge of mechanical engineering serves me right, applying significant rotational torque to achieve maximum velocity will yield a positive result. Something good might happen if I can get the wheel to spin fast enough. Isn't that what I just said? I'm just gonna do this. this work? It does work. Wow, it's amazing. Not as good as walking on it, but hey, it does something. Also, these—I don't know if I've mentioned it—but those things are just hooks. The hooks. The hooks, SpongeBob. Uh, that was back in the good days when. I, I would say Spongebob, but now I'm just going to say television in general was really good back in the day. Cartoons and stuff. Nowadays, there's only two cartoons that are still good, and I'm pretty sure anyone watching this knows what those cartoons are. 
based on my channel. Well, I guess, no, I don't have Chowder anymore. Chowder doesn't exist anymore. I thought that was a pretty good cartoon. But, um, you know, MLP and, uh, Adventure Time are the two of the only good cartoons left on TV. And I don't even have Cartoon Network anymore, so I can't even watch Adventure Time. And MLP, I don't think I've ever had the hub to start with. Never looked. I just watched it on YouTube. But I have to admit, it's got that classic cartoon style. I have to admire that. But, uh, getting back to the focus of the game. Hey, I'm playing a game. I forgot about that. <laughs> um, I probably should have got that bottle back there, but oh well. Let's get it up here. I love this game. This game is, like, really cool, but easy, like, parkour type stuff to do. And I mean, but easy, I'm not meaning, like, Assassin's Creed type parkour, or you're climbing buildings. I mean, this thing, you're just, like, climbing pipes and shit. And it looks really cool. That's one of the things I liked about this game, was, um, just the things, the things this game features, like, climbing and all that, was something new for its time. I mean, Assassin's Creed didn't exist, um, games like Infamous didn't exist. Uh, what else some good climbing games? Uh, Prince of Persia, I haven't played that one, but I know it's a good climbing game. Uh, you know, sh sh I haven't played Shadow of Colossus either, but I know that one, I've seen videos of that one, I know that one's a good climbing game. But, um... You know, gen general climbing games, they, they, they weren't a big thing at this time. I mean, the closest you came to a climbing game was like... I would say Ice Climbers, but that would sound more like a pun than a, than a legit thing. <laughs> but, yeah, parkour was not a big thing back in the day. People didn't want to play games like that. People wanted to play things at like platforms and jumping, and this game brought things to the table like... Uh, well, actually, Banjo-Kazooie was the one that brought a uh, design to the table. Like, designed worlds that look like worlds, not floating platforms, but... Oh, come on. It hurt me without even falling in? What? This game this game brought a lot of climbing to the table. And it's a game that focused around climbing and stuff. And at the time, this was a very new subject for games, and very advanced subject. Oh, the things I'm saying right now. The things people are probably thinking of me right now. Oh, God. Like how I'll never get a girlfriend. But, um, yes, this one you want to do this without getting caught by the laser. And you want to blow up this thing. And it's not doing its job. There we are. There should be some, uh, hangy bottles. There we are. There's the last two right there. I'll get this one. Being the dick holes they are, I'm gonna break this to be smart. They put the uh, the vaults back at the beginning of the level. I'm just gonna roll through it all. So make time. I'm gonna save a lot of time with this LP by doing things like rolling, and another power you get later that makes you move faster. I think there's multiple things that make you move faster, but this is the rolling's the easiest one to get because you just have to do the beginning of. The the beginning of the game, not the level. The game! The beginning of the game gives you the rolling. And that's very early on. It's like the second one you get, I think. I, how, how do I not know the seventh level? This episode, I'm gonna say this is the third level I've done in one episode. That sounds useful. Also, editing's be. I don't know. Like, at fr I don't know if you guys feel my pain, but I obviously just broke my headphones, and um, I just have to slow down time. Which is really cool. It's only airborne, but uh, still really cool. Slow down jumps. Yeah. Oh, I'm slower. But, um, I thought that was so cool as a kid. It's not, it's like, like I said, none of this stuff's really useful, but, like, stuff like the slow-mo jumps, when you're a little kid, that's, like, really cool. And, again, one of the things they brought to the table that's really advanced and new. But useless. It's kind of like how I feel about that new 
Chester Shrove feature in LEGO. For LEGO games in general, I always had some kind of useless thing in them, like, character-wise. Because if you guys never played those games, basically, they'll take a movie, and you can play as any character you want from the movie, including bad guys. And considering you can play as any character you want, there's always that one useless character. Kind of like uh, Star Wars had, um, like, the gonk droids and shit you could play as. It moved slower than molasses. But they were incredibly cheap and understandably priced as characters. So, uh, yeah. And there we have it. We got three keys in one episode. That is amazing. I don't know why it says I have five keys. What level did I do? I did four levels. One, two, three, four. Maybe it says four as soon as you break the thing. I think it does, because I certainly have four keys, not five. Well, I still got three keys in one episode. And in the next episode, I'll probably finish up Rally's lair, or at least get far enough so I can fight him at the next episode after that. Episode four. So I thank you guys for watching, and I thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.